the components required for this experiment are esp32 board relay dc water pump breadboard battery connecting wires and connecting cable Now log in to the Blink.Cloud website. Here go to Developer Zone and then click on New Template. Here we can give the template name as Control Water Pump with ESP32. And select the hardware as ESP32 and connection type as Wi-Fi and click on the Done button. Then go to Setup Data Streams and then click New Data Stream and select the Digital Pin. Here enter the pin name as pump and select the pin number as 2 and click on the create button. Now go to the web dashboard menu from the left side and here drag the switch widget. Now go to the settings of the widget and here choose the data stream as pump. Now click on the save button. Now save the template. Now go to devices. Here click on new device and then select from template and here we can see the template which we created. Select that and click the create button. Now we got the template ID, template name and authentication token. Click here and copy. Then paste in our program. Then enter the Wi-Fi username and password and here we need to install the Blink library. To install the library you can go to tools manage libraries and enter the library name now we need to upload the program for that go to this drop down here the port will be already selected so we need to change the board for that click this select other board and port option here we are using esp32 board so search for esp32 dev module select the board click ok now click this upload button and upload the program now the program is successfully uploaded to the esp32 board now we can set up the Blink mobile dashboard. For that, download the Blink IoT application from the Play Store. Once you install and open the application, you can see the template which we created in the Blink web dashboard. Now click on the template Control Water Pump with ESP32. Here go to the settings icon and then click the plus button from the bottom of the page and add a button widget. Now click on the widget. Here choose the data stream as pump. Now select the button mode as switch. Go to design and if you want to add any title you can add. Now go back and again click the back button. Now the setup is completed and now we can check the output.